in the, the, the couple of games so far, there have been certainly positives in there. What are the areas you think you need to improve on to try and, and register that first win, hopefully, against Sunderland? I think for the two games, uh, we, 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 we've spoken defensively this week about, uh, about being more solid. Um, we, we were in the last two pre-season games. We, we went away from that a little bit against Ipswich, so that's, um, that's something that's going to be a lot better tomorrow at Sunderland. Um, as you said, there was a lots. There was lots of positives in the in the two games. You know, majority of the squad got got ninety minutes across the week. Um, some good performances from younger players as well. That that you know gives us that competition that we want. Um, but we know you know Sunderland are a, a good team. You know, very good squad. Um, you know, huge club in the division. Play with very good intensity. Uh, we know that second balls are going to be very very important tomorrow. And and being able to. Um, control those at both ends of the pitch is going to be a key part of the game um, but I think it's a really exciting first league game for us it's uh, it's also obviously disappointing not to have fans and, and not you know I know it's a, it's a it's a great weekend for the gas heads and, and one that they look forward to so um, that's the only disappointment from my point of view but hopefully we can go and give a good account of ourselves and, um, and you know and give them something positive to watch or to follow. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd echo that. And uh, is there any sense in which it's there's no positives in not having fans in there, but the fact that you'd normally get twenty, thirty thousand, um, uh, you know, faithful for the the, the home support there, it, does that give it? Does that level the playing field a little bit? Uh, I don't think so. If I'm honest, you know, I think it's it, it, it's played on the pitch. You know, the fans they are passionate there. Um, I, I, I'll be careful what I say. I think the only influence they do have sometimes is on how the games run. Um, so that, that's you know, the one thing that I'd say that, that they won't have that coming down onto the pitch. But, you know, we've got to focus on what happens on the pitch. You know, we've got to make sure that we've, we're prepared properly, that we perform um, across that 94 minutes or however long it is um, and focus on our jobs and our professionalism to, to go there and try and get a result. OK, and just finally from me, um, uh, this time of the season, managers, head coaches often get asked about uh, expectations and, and what would constitute success for, uh, for, for this season. What are you hoping for over the other coming nine months? Well, we're hoping to finish as high up the league as we can. You know, that's our target. Um, you know, we want to win as many games of football as, we, as, as possible. Uh, we also want to develop the squad. You know, as, as we've said earlier on, it's, it's a young squad that is only going to get better with experience and time. So. Um, we want to keep growing that, uh, you know, we want to keep developing that in future windows as well. So it's an ongoing process, although we're, we're active still in, in this transfer window, so to speak. We're all ready to work working towards January and even next summer with, with targets and, and where we'd like to strengthen the squad moving forward. So, um, you know, we want to finish as high as we can and, and give, the, give the supporters as positive a season as possible. And like I say, if we can get some momentum early in the season, then, then I think it will be interesting.